This new bat is the talk of baseball right now, but is it a fad or the start of a revolution? It's called the torpedo bat, and it gets its name from the way it bulges at the barrel then tapers off near the end. Actually, it kind of looks more like a candle pin than a torpedo, but torpedo sounds cooler, so I get it. You probably saw them when they went viral on opening weekend, when a few Yankees used them and the team bashed 15 homers in a three-game sweep of the Brewers. But torpedo bats didn't come out of nowhere. They've been in the making for a while. So I'd heard whispers, uh, as early as last year. Do they actually work though? I spoke with some experts to get the pros and cons of the new tool. When you see another physicist come up with a really good idea, my first inclination is, I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> first, let's define some key terms. The rotational inertia of a bat is called its moment of inertia or MOI. So you can think of this as how difficult is it to change the rotational velocity of an object when it's rotating, rotating about a pivot point. Sure, I'm following, but for someone who might need some help, could we get an example? A sledgehammer is a really high moment of inertia object. It's really hard to swing. All the mass is concentrated at the end. Right. But if you flip a sledgehammer such that you're grabbing kind of the base and all the mass is at the bottom, it's a lot easier to swing. Okay, but what does all this have to do with torpedo bats? Well, when you move some mass down closer to the handle, you're altering the bat's moment of inertia and reducing its swing weight. Now, faster bat speeds don't always result in higher exit velocities, which is what hitters are chasing. I don't think such a bat is going to improve one's exit velocity. I reserve the right to change that opinion based on testing and more data. But of course, there's another potential advantage to using a torpedo bat. You can take some of the mass from the end of the barrel and use it to increase the diameter of the sweet spot. The diameter of the bat can be no more than 2.61 inches. Nobody, I don't think, uses a bat with that large a diameter because it would be too heavy. But if you move the mass in, then you've got a bigger hitting surface. And that has its own advantages. The question everybody wants an answer to, will torpedo bats take over the league? That's TBD. Hitters are also really prickly and they're subject to streaks. So I could definitely see guys who embrace it for a week or two at a time. If I were to guess, I, I do think that these will become pretty commonplace, not only in pro ball, but in the amateur circuit as well. Pitchers have had the upper hand for a while now, in part thanks to the analytics revolution. Torpedo bats could be the start of hitters fighting back. Pitches have gotten much faster on average. They're developing new pitches that somehow break in funny ways or ways that batters don't expect, all of which puts the batters at a disadvantage. Even if the torpedo bat itself is not the Rosetta Stone, I think that we're finally going to see more of an equilibrium and more of a restoration to hitting, catching up with pitching. Read more at thebaltimorebanner.com.